gorgeous? Oh, say, your daughter's looking for you. Oh, thanks. I'll take the next bus. Okay, gorgeous. Well, hello, Mother. Who are you doubling today? Lydia Flickham in an aerial act. Be careful. Say, I thought you were supposed to be rehearsing. Haven't even started yet. Well, you knock him over in that rehearsal, and I'll let you support me. Uncle Bill said if he sells the script, you won't have to work anymore. Oh, your Uncle Bill is too good. We owe him too much already. Look what I found this morning. Close your eyes. Wish. Here about the fall ahead of a kitten stocking. What's a kitten stocking? A sock on the puss. Another bupkey. Raspberries. 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 <laughs> I had tootie pie, everything under control. Who are you talking to? All five of them hit me at once. Oh. Hi. Ah, it's a lucky thing I recognized you. I thought it was that guy coming back again. I was about to clout your brains out. How about a part in this new picture you're going to do? Oh, go ahead. I'll kill you. You're all right. You're all set. Thank you, Mr. Fields. Uh, how'd you like to hide the egg and gurgitate a few sauces of mocha java? No, thanks. I've just had breakfast. Oh, you have, eh? Well, call me up at uh, some time. The house. What time? Oh, a couple of o'clock. <whistles> ah, good morning, beautiful. What do you hear from Gosha? Ah, rigger. Uh... Got a menu? Thank you, thank you. Uh, is there any uh, goulash on this menu? It's roast beef gravy. Oh, it's roast beef gravy. It's from, uh, it goes on its, uh... Is that steak New York cut? What a pot. Oh. Oh. No extra charge for the cold shower, I hope. Ah, uh, do you think it's too hot for pork chops? That uh, practically uh, eliminates everything but uh, ham and eggs. Forgot about that. Uh, no ham. Uh, two uh, four-minute eggs in glass. Cup. Uh, yes, cup. And some uh, whole wheat. Uh, white. Uh, some white bread, yes. And they, uh, get away from there. And a cup of mocha java with cream. Milk. Uh, milk, yes, that's fine. Count. Two in the water, easy. I don't know why I ever come in here. Flies get the best of everything. Go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, we just made it. Uh-huh. Yes, I'll have Gloria Jean ready whenever you say. All right. Thank you, Mr. Fangburn. And another thing. You're always squawking about something. If it isn't the steak, it's something else. I didn't squawk about the steak, dear. I merely said I didn't see that old horse that used to be tethered outside here. You're as funny as a cry for help. You also pull that old gag about breaking your fork in the gravy. I didn't say anything about breaking the fork in the gravy. Used to you be an old Follies girl? You know, there's something awfully big about you. <laughs> thank you, dear, thank you, dear, thank you. Your nose. Something awfully big about you, too. Hiya, Tiny. Hiya, Joe. Give me a cup of Jamoke. Probably means mocha java. Uh, what's the amount of the insult? I'll be 35 cents. 35 cents, thank you. Have uh, you any imported cigars? Stingaroos, four for a nickel. Oh, that's fine, as long as they're imported. You know, if anybody ever comes in here and gives you a $10 tip, uh, scrutinize it carefully, because a lot of counterfeit money going around. I'll give you the dope, don't, uh, here, there. If I get any counterfeit nickels or pennies, I'll know where they came from. <laughs> You're so clever. <laughs> Who told you I was clever? Oh, all your friends at the studio told me. Oh, drat. I told them not to tell and you. And another thing. Don't be so free with your hands. Listen, honey. I was only trying to guess your weight. You take things too seriously. Baloney, Mahoney, Malarkey, you big kabluna. Kabluna? I haven't been called that for two days. I suffered from high blood pressure for years. Then I lost my dough and I had to give it up. <laughs> Very comical. That's nice, that's fine.
Aren't you a little confused? Uh, in which way? Your hat. Thanks a thousand times, yes. I mistook it. Thank you. Excuse me, Blippi Pie. Ha <laughs> ha, I forgot to take the cellophane off. Very fortunate it didn't burn my hat. Gene, we'll uh, rehearse the number. You know, we have to get this set finished by morning. Uh, well, what am I supposed to do about it? Let my men continue working. Well, they only have to stop while we rehearse. Now, I'll give you one whistle for quiet and two whistles to resume work. Is that okay, Mr. Pangburn? Well, uh... This is not the song that you're to sing. This is the song Uncle Bill told me to sing. Uncle who? Mr. Fields. <laughs> it's Miss Wash. This is the number that you're to sing. Johnson. Why do I have to work on a stage as busy as this with 48 stages in this studio? I'm sorry, Mr. Pangburn, but they're all busy. Busy? I don't like this song. Neither do I, Gloria. Come on, might as well let him have it. Kiss the murmuring 
to do this number all the way through. <clears throat> Come on. studio read my script. Don't you think I'd better go in with you? Oh, no, dear. I'll be all right. Don't let them chisel you. I won't, dear. You ought to be in there rehearsing with Buddy and Butch. I can't find them. Well, go in there and look for them. Godfrey Daniel. Ah, 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 ah. Hold your temper. Count ten. Now let her go. You got a good aim. A beauty. Why'd you kill us from off the Ah, good morning. I have an engagement for a story conference. You big haughty dotty. You smoke vile cigars all day and drink whiskey half the night. Someday you'll drown in a vat of whiskey. Drown in a vat of whiskey. Death, where is thy sting? Goodbye. Thank you. Shortest interview on record. I beg your pardon. What did you say? 
I have an engagement to read my script. Uh, what was the name? Uh, W.C. Uh, uh, Bill Field. I'm glad to know you, oh, Mr. Field. Oh, glad to know you, Frank. You just get right into my office. Yes, I will, too. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's... Uh, Excuse me. Well... Uh, <laughs> uh, now, well, uh, watch your step here. Mm -hmm. You all right, too? Yeah. Oh! Uh, hello, dear. Uh, pardon me, Mr. Fields, but uh, my wife is not going to be dragged in and out of your picture by the hair of her head. Uh, of course, this is only a rough craft. You've got to bear with me a half a take. And uh, you'll have to take that crab net off, dear. Here's one of the scenes. Um, do you mind being seated? Oh, oh, no. Oh, my dear. <clears throat> uh, you pass Pool Hall. They're playing for the championship of the world, including the $2 side bag. Uh, you were riding in a jeep on the sidewalk with a sailor. The scene intrigues you. You hop off while it is going. In the circus scene, you wear a beard. I wear a beard? Yeah, uh, a small beard, a Van Dyke, just a little... You know what a Van Dyke is, don't you? I certainly do. Oh. Uh, you enter the pool hall. The contender for the championship uh, just ripped the claw, which causes the ball... Good morning, Mr. Tangmore. To... Good morning, Mrs. Pastrami. Uh, take that uh, Groucho Marx out of here, please. Which uh, causes the ball... To leap off the table. It, uh, just a moment, please. Hello? Hello? Oh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, yeah, she's here. It's for you, uh, Mrs. Pastromi. Oh. Strong men faint. Some faint with the rights and some faint Hello? with the lefts. Yes, I can't hear you. Uh, I have to talk louder. He faints. I'm talking as loud as I can. Yeah. Uh, well, I always have spaghetti for dinner. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, well, you your words. Of course I'll be home. What and, time uh, is it? put his hand you ought to know. in your yes. lap. I can't hear you. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Pastromi. You're welcome. Then you go to the local barber shop and get shaved. And play the rest of the scene and the picture with an absolutely clean face. Oh. Well, all right. We can cut that out. If you don't mind, Mr. Fields, I'll read it myself. <clears throat> I get a better feel, uh, capture the mood and the uh, tempo better that way, you see? <clears throat> it's in English, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, long shot of streamlined plane with open air rear observation comp with open air rear observation come up. <clears throat> In the plane is the handsome hero, Bill Fields, <clears throat> and his little niece, Gloria Jean, who are winging their way toward the Russian village in the strange and distant land of... Where are you happy? That I am, Uncle. <laughs> Must be a Shriners convention in town. Or maybe he's a cigarette salesman. I beg your pardon. That's kind of all right. It doesn't matter. I hope he hasn't brought his polo ponies on board with him. They'll be pawing all night and keep us awake. <laughs> Good night, dear. Now, don't you worry. I'll be right over here in the upper berth next to you. Right. What's the matter? Did you sprain your ankle? No, no, no. A, a dog bit me. Oh. Yeah, I was playing a croquet, and, and I, I dropped my mallet. And oh. uh, a little adashon uh, ran uh, straight out and, uh, and, and grabbed me uh, by the fetlock. Oh. Rather fortunate it wasn't a Newfoundland dog that bit you. Yes, uh, rather. I yeah. suppose so. Mm. Yeah, I'm uh, sleeping here somewhere, but I don't know where. Right? Yeah, well, there's no other Wonder place to sleep if you don't sleep in the uh, plane here. That's right. I no. <laughs> no hotels around anywhere. Yes, 
Here you are, Mr. Fields. Oh, thank you. Uh, where are you supposed to sleep? In that little hammock up there? Yes, sir. Good night, Uncle Bill. Uh, good night, dear. I'll be right across the way, dear. I'll be up here all alone, except that fly. Get out of there. Get the yellow leg, please. Thanks. It's the one I use both of them usually. <laughs> this one answers the nightcap again. <laughs> shortly. Oh. oh. Are you air sick? No, dear. Somebody put too many olives in my martinis last night. Shall I get you a bromo? No, I couldn't stand the noise. Time to get up, little lady. Get up, dear. Okay. We're landing in a few minutes, sir, for a half hour. Two or three at what time? Did she say we're landing? Maybe we're not going to land. Go back to sleep again. Chickens they lay eggs in cans and chickens they lay eggs in cans. The chickens lay eggs big as nut mangs. The chickens lay eggs in cans and the chickens have pretty legs in cans. The chickens have pretty legs in cans. That is really not a joke. One roll me for my poke. Chickens have pretty legs in Kansas. Ah, uh, those clouds look just as fleecy as, uh, wow. Got enough material there for a Ringling Brothers big top. Maybe a smuggler. You're a big nose habit. Oh, that's a surprise to me. I say, oh, I should take that as a personal insult. Yeah, I should, too. Are you hate, too? I hate you, too. Yeah, here, yeah, I say, oh, half a tick, old man, half a tick. Oh! Steady on, old man, steady on. I have a big nose habit, eh? You! Me on the head hitted? Say, boys, let me out of this thing. I'm neutral. Go ahead. Neutral! <laughs> uh, forgot my soap. Forgot my razor. Forgot everything. Pardon me. Oh, yeah. I wanted to call this a giant airliner. Do you uh, travel as one person or did you get a party rate of ten? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, don't answer. Oh. Uh. Oh. Hey, oh, here you are. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't sleep well last night. You didn't, man. I'm troubled with insomnia. Oh, insomnia. Uh, well, I know a good cure for it. Yeah? Get plenty of sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Oh. the doctor told me. Good in handy. You should not on the plane in the morning when I can get off. Always push him down like that. Push Never across like that. No, 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 no. That's what it says in the latest etiquette book, yeah. Oh, I can won't change it for me anymore. You've just gone to a cloud. <laughs> That's a hot one. You were shaving me and I was shaving you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Now, are you ready, dear? Be ready in a jiffy. Uh, a jiffy. Oh, okay. Well, I'll uh, meet you on the back platform, dear. All right. Okay, dear. Uh, hello, dear. Oh, miss. Clement Weather. What are you drinking, Uncle Bill? Oh, just a little ginger ale, dear. Pull up your chair. You know, Uncle Bill, I've been thinking. Why didn't you ever marry? I was in love with a beautiful blonde once, dear. She drove me to drink. That's the one thing I'm indebted to her for. <laughs> uh, go in and pack your little portmanteau, will you, dear? All right. Look at that parachute. Well, there she goes. Whew, what a bump. And how fortunate I have been. Uh, how do you do? Uh, do you live here? What are you? I'm an American citizen. An American eagle? I know. It's the first time I've ever been up the plane in my life. I'm uh, just a man. Man? I never heard that word before. And then? Are you really a man? Well, I've been called other things. I've never seen one before in all my life. You never have, eh? Mother brought me to the nest here when I was only three months old. Oh, she did, eh? And you've never seen a man. Mm -hmm. uh, did you ever play the game of Squidgelum? No. The only game I've ever played is... Beanbag. Beanbag. Oh, it's very good. It becomes very exciting at times. I saw the championship played in Paris. Many people were killed. Uh, pull up a chair. Uh, get a little closer. Here. Uh, far away. Wait, wait, maybe I'm the one. Uh, now you put your hands on your head that way. That's it. Now, close your eyes and pucker your lips a bit. Shall we play another rubber? Why, Mother! Romulus and Remus. What are you doing here? Mother, this is a man. He fell out of an airplane and brought a wonderful new game to us. It's called Squidulum. You pull two chairs together, place your hands on your head in this fashion, then you close your eyes, and then you both press your lips together. Oh, I'll try it with him. Mother knows best. Close your eyes, Mother.
they deceive you as your father did me. He kissed a chorus girl, and when I found it out, he said, uh, Oh, I was drunk and didn't know what I was doing. Do you think he drinks? He didn't get that nose from playing ping pong. <laughs> What a catastrophe. Just a minute, Mr. Fields. There is a limit to everything. This script is an insult to a man's intelligence, even mine. You drop from a plane 10,000 feet in the air, and you land at a van without a scratch. You play post office with a beautiful blonde, and then you throw yourself over a cliff in a basket. It's impossible, inconceivable, incomprehensible. And besides that, it's no good. And as for the continuity, it's, it's terrible. And for my own information, uh, off the record, what's happened to Gloria Jean? Where has she been all this time? Oh, uh, oh, I see, here she is. <clears throat> Poor little Gloria, almost in tears, waiting at the airport, not knowing which way to turn, when suddenly... Telephone, honey. Hello? Uncle Bill! Where are you? What? Yes. Yes, I'll be right over. How, how do you get to the Russian village? I'll take care of it. I fell out of an airplane while I was trying to retrieve a bottle of golden nectar and landed on the pinnacle of yonder rock. Where is domiciled a vision of loveliness, if ever there was one? And her mother, a buzzard, if ever there was one. If that girl is as beautiful as you say, I, I'll scale the wall tomorrow. I've heard about them. They say the old buzzard's husband walked out on her before the girl was born. And the buzzard vowed that the daughter would never see or hear the name man as long as she lived. They also say the old gal has a bankroll so big a greyhound couldn't leap over it. Yeah? Oh, well, she, uh... Seems to have a kind heart, too. Maybe you could uh, induce her to come down and talk turkey to one that really loves her and has her interest at heart. She seemed like an awfully nice woman to me. Now that I come to think of it. Thank you. 
Uncle Bill! Hello, dear. Tanya, красавица. Dear, I'm so glad you arrived safely. Uh, this is my uh, little niece, Gloria Jean. This Mr. Uh, Roberts. Mr. Roberts and this Mr. Uh, uh, Carson. Uh, Mr. Carson, yeah. yeah. What are you drinking, Uncle Bill? I'm drinking goat's milk, dear. What kind of goat's milk? Uh, nanny goat's milk. It's very sweet. <laughs> No, I've never heard of it. Oh, well, we... We place our hands on our head thus. Then we close our eyes. And then we press our lips together. up here yesterday said this was a national game where he came from. Mm. You must be a professional. <laughs> Did the man who came up here yesterday play this game with you? Yes, he did, but when Mother wanted to play, something frightened him and he dived over the parapet. Why, the old reprobate. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Let's play squidgy. since she was three months old. And for no reason at all, suddenly blossoms out with jump and jive. Do you actually think I'm a dope? Now, don't you answer that. Let's get on with it anyway. Squidge. Are you sure you've lived here since you were three months old? Squidge. Well, who, who are you? Mrs. Hemoglobin. Who? Mrs. Hemoglobin. Give me another transfusion. Hemmer, Hemoglobin. Oh, you're not the dame that has all that money. I mean, you're the beautiful lady that has the house on top of the hill. Oh, all my life I've been craving love of this guy. <laughs> oh, love. <laughs> I don't think you can get that cricket bat in here. Yeah, sure. What kind of a bird is that, Uncle Bill? Oh, it's a Philly Lou bird, dear. Flies backwards. Flies backwards? Yes, it uh, lives in the desert. Flies backwards to keep the uh, sand out of its eyes. I wonder where the contraption is that starts this thing. Did it hurt you, Uncle? <coughs> Now, how could a rock dropping from a thousand feet hurt your head? Ah, here we go. <laughs> well, you can see all over the country, can't you? Oh, for a Maxwell parachute. What's a Maxwell parachute? Good until the last drop, dear. Ah, here we go again. Ready, children?
My dear Mrs. Hemoglobin. A token of my love and esteem. <laughs> what a voracious appetite that little bird had. I, oh, <laughs> they hide him. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fly away. <laughs> He'll stay up, may I? Oh, please do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Once when I... Oh, dear. Are you hurt? <laughs> oh, my. Right. Oh. Pardon me, may I remove the basket? Oh, yes, please do. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. Oh, my. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's quite all right, quite all right. Can you do anything with it? I think I can do something with it. I don't know what yet. My Uncle Bill. But I still love him. My dear Mrs. Hemoglobin, when I first saw you, I was so enamored with your beauty. Oh, Mr. Fields. I ran to the basket, jumped in, went down to the city and bought myself a wedding outfit. Oh. <laughs> and now I'm here <clears throat> to lay my heart on feet. Oh, you're so full of romance. Every night, every night. What's the matter with this thing? Sit down on it again, will you? Let up. me help you. Oh, oh dear, people. So everything seems to be going wrong. Yes, it does. Mother! Mother, Mr. Carson and I are going to be married, and right away, too. Mr. Fields brought up the owner of the canteen and Mr. Klein's. He's sheriff, magistrate, and mayor of the village. He's going to marry us immediately. Why not make it a double header? Saturday afternoon, and I haven't anything to do. <laughs> Mr. Fields, this is so sudden. Oh, I'm so happy. That's so much. <laughs> Hello there. Well, oh. my dream girl. No. No. Oh. Uh, Leon. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, bother me? <laughs> Have you seen all uh, my up? Uh, our um, hanging swimming pool? Hanging swimming pool? No. Hey, there, no. well, show them a hanging swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> hanging swinging pool? Well, where is this hanging Why, swimming pool? Right here. Get up on there, you can see it a little better. Can I be a better? Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Suffering sciatica. Last time it was pink elephants. Oh, you're back. Yes. And the poor chap uh, just had a mishap. Oh, that's too bad. Slipped over the parapet. Oh, yes. my. Uh, shall we proceed with the uh, ceremony? Just as you say. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Hemoglobin. <laughs> May I call you Daisy? Oh, I wish you would. Uncle Bill. Yes, dear? May I see you a minute? Certainly. Excuse me, Mrs. Hemoglobin. Certainly. Fuck, Who's it? Uncle Bill, I don't want you to get married. You listen to me, Missy. Don't you want to live in this beautiful nest? Have a personal maid? No. Wear diaphanous gowns? And eat regularly? I just want to be with you. You'll be with me. But she'll be with us. I never thought of that. Don't start worrying. We get down one thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. 
the last foot that's dangerous. That's all. That's enough. That's too much. Aeroplanes with sun decks. Russian villagers in the sky. Gorillas playing post office. Cow, sheep, goat milk. I'm going. And when I get back, you better not be here. I don't care where you go, just go. Go, go, get a drink, get two drinks, get a dozen drinks. Give me a drink, I'm dying. What'll it be? Oh, um, jumbo ice cream soda. What flavor? Oh, I don't care, spinach, horseradish, anything you got there. I'll give you a peach. Oh, thank you, thank you. I feel as though somebody stepped on my tongue with muddy feet. <laughs> this scene's supposed to be in a saloon, but the censor cut it out. It'll play just well, isn't it? Ah, uh, come on, where's my drink? Ah, ah, ah. It's killers like you that give the West a bad name. Uh, give me a couple of lady fingers, will you, please? Thank you. Tom, I'd rather be in a saloon at that. Don't you worry about it. But Uncle Bill said he's going away. Fine, fine. I mean, now don't worry about your Uncle Bill. <clears throat> He's lived his life and ruined mine. Now, it's you we've got to think about. You're young. You've got a great career ahead of you. You're going to do big things. <laughs> Maybe Uncle Bill can write you another story. Uh, no, no. No, don't say that. I never want to see him again. <clears throat> He's a numbskull. <clears throat> do you know what Uncle would do if he heard you say that? No. What would your Uncle do if he heard me say that? This. And if Uncle Bill doesn't work here anymore, I don't either. But I don't want you to go away without me, Uncle Bill. But the enterprise in which I'm about to embark on is fraught with eminent peril. Much too dangerous for a young lady of your tender years. Another thing, I promised your mother I'd look out for you. But how can you look out for me when I'm here and you're way down there? At... You want to go to school, don't you? No. You want to grow up and be dumb like Zazu Pitts? She only acts like that in pictures. I like her. Don't you want to be smart? No. I want to be like you. Don't you think I'm smart? Not very. I don't like teachers anyhow. Well, there's no sense in arguing with a woman. You go with me. Yippee! <laughs> oh, come here! <laughs> How do you think you're backing into, you big lummox? <laughs> Hello, officer. Uh, here's Donald Quarter. Go in there and buy yourself uh, several outfits. We're liable to be down there a year. Okay, thanks. Okay, officer. Hey, uh, 
Ah. Hello, officer. Um, uh, I tune near the plug or something? I can move out in a minute. Move out in a minute. Snow is that? Number 202. Calling car number 202. immediately to North National Bank. Get necessary information regarding two crooks who have just held up the bank for $150,000. $150,000. That is all. That is all. $150,000. That is all. It ain't a hay, is it? Car 202. Bank robbery. North National Bank has been held up. One crook, slight build, evidently a jockey, has a horse car behind his left ear. Must be some air to get a horse car behind that. Keep quiet, please. Other crook has corn teeth. Cauliflower ear, apple red cheeks, mutton chop whiskers. Sounds like a full course dinner to me. What, no apple pie? Oh, shut up. Now, it's blue for a boy and pink for a girl, isn't it? Yes. Well, I'll take the pink one. Is that the right time? Yes, it's Western Postal time. Why, I have to get these down to the baby hospital. I'm leaving for Salt Lake this afternoon. Here, I'll see you when I get back. All right, Mrs. Wilson. <whistles> I've got to get to the maternity hospital right away. Now, if I can be of any of assistance... Can you rush the to the maternity hospital? Yes, sir. Get to the back. And uh, uh, tell my niece to meet me... I'll take care of her, sir. further, it's all I can get out of this old creek. Hospital, 14th and B Street. Okay.
those drunken painters. I still love it. 